you, the fire department emergency medical technicians, class two of 2023. Center face. Please remain standing for the national anthem to be sung by firefighter Regina Wilson. Class, half lap face. Detail, hand salute. Now, oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say Star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave 
Ready, two. Flat, center, face. Thank you, Firefighter Wilson. Please remain standing while FDNY Reverend Ann Cansfield is invited to the podium for the invocation. Detail on cover. Please pray with me. Holy One, we thank you for this wonderful day of celebration. We give thanks for these new EMTs who will go out and do your work in our city. We thank you for their dedication and determination. We thank you for all of the people who have helped them get to this moment, for their instructors and teachers, for mentors and family members. Now we ask you to guide and protect them as they take the next step in this journey. Bless our city with peace and prosperity and bless our department and all who watch over our city as they continue to protect life and property for all of us. Amen. Detail, recover. Please retire the colors. Please be seated. Class, take seats. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please direct your attention to the monitors in front of you for a brief video presentation. Since 1865, there has been one organization protecting life in our great city. One group that trains to meet these life-saving challenges head on. Ensuring the safety of all who visit and live in New York City. One, One department, department that answers every call for help, no matter the dangers and no matter the cost. We are the world's busiest and best emergency medical service, responding to more than 1.7 million incidents a year. Responding with the best training and compassion possible. We, we serve, serve with, with honor, honor, courage, courage and, and dedication. dedication. Once again, good morning. My name is Captain Antonio Quinones. I am the commanding officer of EMS Station 31 in downtown Brooklyn. I would like to welcome you to today's probationary EMT graduation for class two of 2023. I want to take a moment to introduce the members of our dais. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until the end. Fire Commissioner, Laura Cavanaugh. Chief of Department, John Hodgins. Chief of Staff, Louis Martinez. Chief of EMS Operations, Michael Fields. Chief of Training, Thomas Correa. 
Assistant Chief of EMS Operations, Cesar Escobar. Assistant Chief of EMS Operations, Paul Miano. Assistant Chief Fire Operations, Kevin Brennan. Chief Fire Marshal, Daniel Flynn. Deputy Commissioner, Dr. Kwame Cooper. Chief of Planning, Frederick Villani. Deputy Assistant Chief of Emergency Medical Dispatch, Denise Werner. Deputy Assistant Chief, City Central Operations, Stacy Scanlon. Chief of the EMS Academy, Tanya Boyd. Deputy Assistant Chief of EMS Operations, Grace Cacciola. Assistant Commissioner, Nafisa Noonan. Assistant Commissioner, James Harding. Uniformed EMTs, Paramedics, and Fire Inspectors President, Oren Barzilay. Uniformed EMS Officers Union President, Vincent Ferriali. Division Three Medical Dir Director, Dr. Benjamin Zabar. And you've already met FDNY Chaplain, Reverend Ann Cansfield. Once again, good morning, Fire Commissioner, Chief of Department, and other distinguished members of the dais, FDNY Chiefs, Deputies, Assistant Commissioners, Union officials, elected officials, EMS members, families, friends, welcome to everyone. We will now hear from our first speaker, Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh. Good morning, class. Good morning. This is truly a great day for the fire department and for you specifically, our graduates. You are now officially a member of the greatest fire department in the world, serving the greatest city in the world. Congratulations. Let's give them a round of applause. A special thank you is also due to the friends and family who are here and supported you through this journey. And you, too, are now a part of our fire department family. So welcome to the family. And you can, you can clap for that. And thank you to your instructors from our EMS Academy who have committed countless hours to teaching you, guiding you, and mentoring you. They have laid a foundation of hard work, professionalism, and skill that will stay with you throughout your entire career at the FDNY. Let's give them and everyone who made today possible a round of applause. <laughs> Graduation day is a special here special day here at the fire department because it is a culmination of incredibly hard work and challenging days that you had to put in to get here. It's also a chance to look back on your journey. Who you are sitting here today is very different than who you were when you first entered the EMS Academy. Not only have you learned skills that will be the foundation of a long and critically important career in EMS, but you've committed to a larger calling that will shape every decision you make while on the job and off. You've committed to the most noble calling public service, helping others. You've already spent time in the field, and I know you have already started to see the diligence and strength required to do this important job. The work you are doing, the care you are giving, can literally mean the difference between life and death. The pre-hospital care you offer can change the out outcome of someone's life, can change a family's life by giving them more time with their loved ones. That is what makes EMS so important and so challenging. It's not just that you're doing difficult medical work, and you are. It's that you're doing it in people's homes, on our city streets, literally wherever medical care is needed. It will take you out in the rain and the snow, in the middle of a storm, early in the morning and in the middle of the night. You will find yourselves in all kinds of situations you have never encountered or even imagined. But we know your training has prepared you for those moments. Being in an EMT is more than a job, and it is more than a career but a calling to a life of service. Many of you have chosen that life of service before today, with six of you having served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Many of you are continuing a family legacy of service, with four of our graduates carrying on the legacies of parents and grandparents who made the ultimate sacrifice by giving their lives so others could live. We also have many new traditions being made today, with many of you from diverse communities all over the city becoming the first in your family to choose this calling. What all of you have in common is making the choice to serve others, to honor the memory of those who be came before you, and to choose to make a commitment to something larger than yourselves. There will be good days and bad days on this job, hard days that make you stronger as a person and better as an EMT. 
but I can promise you that there will be calls, there will be people that you meet, there will be lives that you save that remind you who you are and why you chose this job. There will inevitably be patients whose lives you save, patients who because of your care will make it home to their families. They will thank you, their families will thank you, and we will thank you. And you will know in these moments exactly why you've chosen this work in this city, in this department. As you continue your career with the FDNY, continue to work as a team, share stories about your struggles and victories, talk to each other, learn from one another, lean on one another. You represent our department in the best way possible, serving as an example whether you're in uniform or not. Wear your title proudly, both on and off duty, as part of the very best fire department in the world. You have already brought us great pride and we look forward to seeing the great things you will do. Congratulations, best of luck, and stay safe. Thank you, Commissioner. Please welcome our next speaker, Chief of Department, John Hodgins. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Graduations are a great day for this department. When we welcome new, eager members into our ranks, we are welcoming a new generation of dedicated people. New members always bring an infusion of fresh energy, ideas, and determination to our department. Graduation marks the end of something and the start of something else. I hope you meet the next part of your lives with excitement and respect for the work ahead of you. I know you are prepared, having been taught by the best instructions at our EMS Academy. Instructors, sorry. You are ready to become the FDNY EMTs this city depends on in times of need. It's no small task. I would like to acknowledge six of our new graduates who served our country in the United States military. Please stand when I read your name. Victoria Ortiz, United States Air Force. Bolatife Finney, United States Army. Frank Casello, United States Army. Chad Cox, United States Army. Tat Lim, United States Marines. And Andrew Shepard, United States Marine. Thank you for your service. We are proud to have you join the FDNY. Veterans, take seats. I know you will bring the same honor to the FDNY uniform that you brought to your military uniform. This is an important day for all of you. It's a time to celebrate your hard-earned achievement and to remember all the studying, training, and difficult work it took to get here. As you embark on your careers, remember that you are part of a legacy that spans generations. You are the ones who run toward danger when others flee. You provide comfort to those in need, and above all, you make our city safer and stronger. You are a critical part of this department. You all worked hard to get here. Keep up the hard work. We expect big things of all of you, but we also know that you are ready to handle whatever, whatever comes your way. And while in the field, you will work directly with experienced paramedics, EMTs, officers, and firefighters. Learn from them. Your training will serve you well, and you will continue to grow under their guidance. Never forget how hard you have worked to get here and how important you are to this city. I wish you all the best of luck. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless the FDNY. God bless America. Thank you.
Thank you, Chief. Please welcome our next speaker, Chief of EMS Operation, Michael Fields. Good morning. Good morning, sir. <clears throat> this is truly an incredible day. I am again blessed to stand in front of 148 new emergency medical technicians graduate into our ranks at the greatest fire department and EMS service in the world. It truly takes my breath away to look out at so many people who are dedicating their lives to the profession of public service, emergency response, and emergency medicine. Every EMS graduation that takes place in the month of September always has a bittersweet taste to it. This September, as always, we celebrated the 343 brave and dedicated souls that were taken from us on September 11th, 2001. Those losses were compound, compounded by the additional loss of 343 members who succumbed to World Trade and a related illness over the last 22 years. These evil perpetrators thought on that day that they would cripple a country, a city, our fire department. Wow, were they so wrong. From the ashes of the World Trade Center rose the spirits of those 343, and they sparked a resilience in generations to come. They sowed seeds that have grown into the graduates today. From the ashes have grown the best, the bravest, the brightest men and women. These, member, these members have picked up the baton and will flourish into the department's future leaders. When the alarm sounds, it's the fire department that responds every time with our concerns for our own well-being. When the alarm sounds and others run away from danger, it's the fire department going to chaos, bringing calm, compassion, and help. Today, we honor the memories of all our fallen by welcoming these new minted EMTs into our FDNY family. These new members embody the spirit of selflessness, heroism, that is synonymous with the FDNY. These members carry on the legacy of their fallen comrades. In closing, let's applaud these new EMTs for their hard work, their dedication, and their commitment to their chosen profession. May they go forth with the resilience, compassion, and unwavering spirit of the FDNY. May you be blessed throughout your career. Thank you for choosing to serve your community by joining the greatest organization in the world. May God bless you on this journey. May God continue to bless the FDNY. Thank you, Chief. I will now invite Division Three Medical Director, Dr. Benjamin Zabar, to come to the podium to say a few words and then administer the Declaration of Geneva to the Probationary EMT School. Before we do the Oath of Geneva, I'd just like to congratulate you for all you've accomplished to get to this day. You should be very proud of the complex knowledge and skills you have mastered along your path to becoming emergency medical technicians. You have been well-trained to stabilize critical patients, but this is just the beginning of your medical education. There is much to learn. Learn from your senior EMTs. Learn from the paramedics in your station. And most importantly, learn from your patients. New diseases arise, protocols change, but you have a strong foundation. I look forward to working with you all. We will now administer the Oath of Geneva. Class, on your feet. I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of men to help the well being of my patients will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patients. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit consideration of age, disease, disability, greed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing. Congratulations. Class, take seats. 
Thank you, Dr. Zabar. We will now begin the procession of graduates. Graduates, as I call your name, please proceed towards the center of the stage for your photo. We will begin with Alpha Company Valedictorian, EMT Victoria Ortiz. <laughs> Next, the Bravo Company Valedictorian, EMT Tat Lim. EMT Asif Ahmed. EMT Christopher Armida. EMT Nicholas Baletta. <laughs> EMT Matthew Bennett. <laughs> EMT Andrew Bernal Cavedo. EMT Albert Bethencourt III. EMT Daniel Bonilla. EMT Joseph Bradbury. EMT Matthew Bradbury. EMT Michael Brevetti. EMT Nolan Brown. EMT Daniel Brown. EMT James Russell. EMT James Cameron. You guys could cheer it up out there. These guys worked hard to be here. EMT Josiah Canelo. EMT Thomas Caridi. EMT Ryan Casciata. EMT 
EMT Frank Casello. EMT Fabrice Charlemagne. EMT Nicholas Trapellis. EMT James Coffey. EMT Shane Costello. EMT Devon Council. EMT Chad Cox. EMT Dominic Krakow. EMT Ryan Savitkovich. EMT Sabrina Dalbury. <laughs> EMT Peter Daly. EMT Nicholas Davidow. EMT Samantha DiFilippo. EMT Kenneth Deloso. EMT Kevin Deloso. EMT Lauren DeMarco. EMT Lena Diamond. EMT Kevin Diaz. EMT Giovanni Deluvio. EMT Connor Donaldson. EMT Brendan Donnelly. EMT Francis Donahue.
EMT William Duffy. EMT Tommy Ellis Batista. EMT Eddie Espadero. EMT William Esposito Jr. EMT Nicholas Farda. EMT Peter Farrow. EMT Daniel Finnegan. EMT Bolutife Finney. EMT Aaron Garcia. EMT Maya Garcia. EMT Rami Ganum. EMT Shadi Ganum. EMT Robert Giacoya. EMT Robert I'm sorry, EMT Jack Golden. EMT Xavier Gomez. EMT John Grandaza. EMT Justin Green. EMT Daniel Grossfeld. EMT Anthony Harper. EMT Darian Harris Farrer. EMT Enku Henry. EMT Michael Herald.
EMT Manuel Hicks. EMT Andrew Higgins. EMT Christopher Hilgendorf. EMT Tariq Huin. EMT Joseph Impelazeri. EMT Iram Iqbal. EMT Joel Jackson. EMT Prince Jacobs. EMT Jalen Johnson. EMT Michael Jones Jr. EMT Isaiah Keller. EMT Luke Kelly. EMT Eric Kirschner. EMT Roan Lanigan. EMT Joseph Lanzi. EMT Marie LeBlanc. EMT Adrian Letty. EMT Andrew Liebler. EMT Osiris Lysa. EMT Brian Ma. EMT Nicholas Maniscalco. EMT Francisco Martinez. (laughs) 
EMT Daniel Martinez. EMT Neville McCauley. EMT Jack McHugh. EMT Colin McKiver. EMT Louis Mendez. EMT Sebastian Mogrovejo. EMT Christopher Mombrun. EMT Francisco Montalvo. EMT Nicholas Montoni. EMT James Mooney. EMT Dylan Motinho Bernal. EMT Nicholas Murphy. EMT Sean Murphy. EMT John Nadeo. EMT Vincenzo Natale. EMT William O'Connor. EMT Michael Ormiston. EMT Michael Ortiz Jr. EMT Michael Perez Barreras. EMT Timothy Piesco. EMT Julian Pinzon. EMT JC Pity. 
EMT Devin Potter. EMT Lisandro Ramirez Ramirez. EMT Jalen Ramos. EMT Scott Rathjen Jr. EMT Christian Reed. EMT William Reichter. EMT Ariel Reyes. EMT Alberto Rivera Jr. EMT Jesse Rogerson. EMT Richard Romano. EMT Alex Rosado. EMT Michael Rossi. EMT Jordan Ruiz. EMT Michael Russo Jr. EMT Marlene Sanchez. EMT Muntaka Sarkar. EMT Anthony Sassano. EMT Michael Schmatz the Fourth. EMT Matthew Scott. EMT Kahim Shepherd. EMT Andrew Shepherd.
EMT, Sydney Sherrod. EMT, Michael Silva, Jr. EMT, Michael Sinisi. EMT, Connor Spanos. EMT, Michael Spataro. EMT, Garrett Stein. EMT, Adrian Suero. EMT, Daniel Sweeten. EMT, Michael Shalovich. EMT, Francesco Tarasi. EMT, Eric Taratko. EMT, Trayvon Thomas. EMT, Larique Thomas. EMT, Jonathan Vega Perez. EMT, John Vergara. EMT, Michael Vito Jr. EMT, Ryan Weber. EMT, Mark Weber Jr. EMT, Brian Wu. EMT, Christina Zastanek. Let's give a big round of applause for our EMTs.
Everyone, please be seated. I will now turn the class over to drill instructor Haley Sato for the EMS Academy for the Count on Deck. Sir, on behalf of the FDNY EMS Academy, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the second graduating trainee class of 2023. They are highly motivated, skilled, and ready to serve, protect, and provide medical care to the people of this great city. Permission to present the Count on Deck, sir. For the benediction, please welcome Chaplain Reverend Ann Cansfield. Detail, uncover. Welcome to the family. I want to tell you a little bit about my own family because we're a real cast of characters. I have two kids. My son just started high school. My daughter just started middle school. You will find her after school hanging out on some corner with some friends, drinking some Starbucks. My parents are in their early 80s, and after I moved several times for my dad's job growing up, he and my mom just moved back into the city for my job into a senior living facility. My wife, Jennifer, just took up triathloning in a big surprise. You can see her apparently practicing the biking uh, with a city bike on the streets of Midtown. I live in terror for all of them. They're all out of my control. And that's why I am entrusting them into your hands. As you go out today, I want you to think of all of the patients that you treat as potentially being my family members or your family members, because in fact, they are our family members. Some of them may be pregnant, some of them may struggle with addiction or mental health, but they're all loved by somebody just as you are. And so I'm asking you to please take care of my family. And I'm offering something in exchange. I promise to pray for you every day. I promise to cheer you on and to answer the phone when you call. And I give that promise here in front of your family because I bet that they're a little scared too to send you out to do your job. But that the way we're able to do all of these things is because we surround one another and we support one another. So as you go, go with this blessing. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you. May God be gracious to you and give you peace now and always. Amen. Detail, recover. On behalf of the fire commissioner, chief of department, chief of EMS, and other distinguished members of the dais, I want to thank everyone for joining us at today's ceremony. I would ask all family members, friends, and colleagues remain at your seats to let the graduates recess. If you would like to take pictures, please line up to the left of the stage, my right, uh, when the ceremony concludes. This concludes the ceremony. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day. Class, center, face. Forward, march.